That's Clouston's Pier opposite. A very historic pier. A little set, set of steps. And that forms a, the southern boundary of this noust. And behind me, up the slip, is Clouston's Close. And all the houses in Clouston's Close, my house, 94 Victoria Street, or rather my sister's house, 94 Victoria Street, and people in the Delhi, all have right of access to this now. It's on their title deeds, and also, of course, we've viewed law here, so that the, the properties along this foreshore would own to the end. So, uh, you know, I'm 100% in favour of a sewage upgrade. I mean, you can't keep putting raw sewage into the sea. We've been expecting this upgrade for some 20 years, so now it's finally come. Uh, and the Sinkers men are doing great work up on the land side. I understand that uh, the lease to the contractor, that the lease marine, was short of time there because uh, they had a barge on hire, they had a crane on hire, uh, not that many big tides available. So the last big tide they were in here dug out best they could and they're working to the spec they were given. Unfortunately, they weren't able to dig out enough. So they were pumping, mapping, and piping and the uh, diffuser that you see are all standing uh, much prouder than what we would want, at least a metre prouder. But I would question the very technology they've used. Uh, one of the things that's causing the problem is the outfalls are plastic pipes that float. I think in this historic location, a metal pipe buried in a metre deep trench to a smaller diffuser further out at sea would make much less impact on this house. And I think the uh, the planners are remiss in that the people who have a legal right to use this now were never consulted, the owner of the pier was never consulted, and uh, if I hadn't actually witnessed this I wouldn't have believed it. It's, you know, the, suddenly a barge arrived and we got a huge delivery of concrete, and uh, it was hurriedly done, and it's turned out to be a bit of a nightmare really. Sandy, what is the pier used for now? Well, the main user is uh, Willie Sinclair, the uh, Willick Sinclair who owns the Merlin. He's a man in his 80s, he's fished for 60, 65 years, was boxed in a light boat for many years. That's his pier. He bought the pier off Arthur Terrace, who used to own the house I occupy. And then that shed is a former sorting office from the old post office that they moved there. They make the creels in there and he's got a right to come in and pick up his gear. He also used to ebb out his boat there for anti-fouling. I mean, in latter years with the cranes, they tend to lift them out by crane, but in the old days, they go in there for anti-fouling and repairs. He would now have a job getting in there, he, and if they level that off, the, he's losing a metre of water there. I mean, he's a typical old-fashioned Arcadian man, reticent, doesn't want to complain, doesn't want to make a fuss, but what they've done to his peer is really quite shocking. Uh, and the rest of us here are uh, just lesser users. I have a little dinghy I moor out there, uh, on a, 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 one of these travelling moorings back to the shore. Uh, my neighbour Doris does canoeing from here, but anybody that lives in this road location has a right to come and use this now. So, will it for fishing and the rest of us for pleasure. And has anybody from the council been out to see you concerning your views? Well, not yet, but I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, I'm surprised that, I mean, we're now trying to close the stable door after the horse has bolted, you know. Uh, this all should have been addressed at the planning stage, and, and that's really what we're all guys. Uh, the, the contractors at the end of the day do what the engineers and the planners are. Not. So I'm, not, I'm not faulting the contractors. It's, it's the planning stage that has let us down. So what would you like to see happening now? Well, I mean, there's two things that can happen. Either this entire, this overkill spec needs to go down a metre and the diffuser needs to go out further, or we need to uh, take a different approach, and I would suggest a metal pipe buried to a smaller diffuser. But one of these two options needs to take place. It cannot possibly leave the van's pier in that state. 